Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. Say it with me. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. Awesome job. We are going to sing the Days of the Week song. All right, so I'm going to put a picture up of all the names of the days of the week, and I would like for you to sing along with me. Ready? Begin. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and let's begin again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday all day long. Do you guys see how I tried to point at the, the days of the week? It didn't match up exactly, but I think I'm getting better at this. All right, go ahead and get your journals out. We're going to practice writing the date today. All right, let's go ahead and write the date. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. Spell it with me. Capital W E D N E S D A Y comma space capital A P R I L space 8 comma space 2020 okay very good the abbreviated version is 4-8-20 Awesome job. Now we're going to be doing a little writing assignment later, so we're not going to spend too much time writing in here today. Actually, today I would like you to draw a picture of what your planted seed looks like. Now I know a lot of you ended up just planting your seeds yesterday, um, and I know my seed hasn't sprouted yet, but it's good to have at least one picture of what it looked like before anything even grew. So I'm going to draw my big cup like this and the little cup inside and it kind of has like there and then it's just dark soil in there if i had my crayons out i would color this part down here red you're more than welcome to color it if you want to and there it is a whole lot of nothing growing now i hope it's going to start to grow soon that way we can draw some um something green coming out but nothing yet so just a picture of your carrot seed and what it looks like today um, now that we've written in our journals and talked about the date, I want you to get the materials that you're going to need for today out if you haven't already. You're going to need this packet. It's day three, week five. It's from the pink packet still. Um, and it has the snowman story attached to it. Um, there's a blank piece of paper. We're going to need that. And um, for math, you're going to need lesson three of chapter eight, which looks like this. Okay, so those are the materials you'll need for today. Uh, go ahead and get those out and do your morning work and we'll go over the answers in just a couple minutes or when you unpause the video. <laughs> See you soon. All right, on your morning work, we're going to start with correcting the sentences. It's not nice to point. It's not nice to point. You should notice that there's a capital letter missing in the beginning. Oh, my pen's not working. Let me grab a new one. Capital letter missing here. Okay, and punctuation, okay? This is a telling sentence, so it's just a period. Then you use your neatest handwriting and rewrite the sentence. Pause the video if you need to. Number two, Roy lit the candle. Roy lit the candle. Once again, capital letter and a period at the end. Then use your neatest handwriting to rewrite the sentence. Now, Roy is capitalized not only because it's the beginning of a sentence, but because it's a name as well. Right here it says, write the compound word. There's a picture of a cup and a picture of a cake. That might help you remember what a compound word is. 
A compound word is two different words that are real words put together and they mean something totally different. So cup and a cake is a cupcake. We've um, done a lot of things with compound words like butter and fly for butterfly. Okay, there's lots of different ones um, out there. So they're really fun and you can kind of guess from the pictures what they are. Circle the word that rhymes with oil. So circle the words that rhyme with oil. Boil, oil, boil, yep. Toy, oil, toy, oil. They have the same sound, but not the same ending. Remember, to rhyme, it has to have the same ending. So not this one. Soil, oil, soil, oil, yes. New, oil, new, oil, no. Very good. This one says, use the word puzzle in a sentence. This one might be easy to do. I don't know about you guys, but we've been doing a lot of puzzles here at my house, okay? So I'm gonna write about that. I'm gonna say, yesterday, I did a puzzle. And there it is. Excellent job.